Hi, I'm Marcia Levick, Deputy Director and Chief Counsel of Juvenile Law Center. I'm also one of the co-founders of the center and run it today along with co-founder and executive director Bob Schwartz. Juvenile Law Center uses the law to protect society's most vulnerable youth. When Bob and I opened the doors to Juvenile Law Center in 1975, we believed that children ought to have a voice in decisions affecting their lives and that lawyers were well-suited to provide that voice. We also believed that public systems should improve children's lives, not make them worse, and teach them that the rule of law supports policies that are proportional and fair. We believed that we could help prevent harm and promote possibilities for children by leveling the playing field of civil society and creating opportunities for healthy development, employment, and citizenship. With those beliefs, Juvenile Law Center began as a small Philadelphia legal services office that handled individual cases in every area of children in the law. These included cases involving delinquency, child abuse and neglect, education, and mental health issues. With careful and periodic strategic planning, we've shifted from handling individual cases to advocating for broader law reform and conducting policy work that has had a wide and deep impact on the lives of children across the country. These are children who are in the foster care or justice system between 10 and 21 years of age. They're the ones who are most likely to be mislabeled, ignored, harmed, or scarred for life by systems that are supposed to help them. Hundreds of thousands of youth are in foster care on any given day in the United States. Many of them bounce from family to family. They miss school. They drop out. Adults who are supposed to help them plan for their futures often fail to do so. Many of them drift or become homeless adults. Youth involved with the justice system are seven times more likely to have a history of adult unemployment and welfare dependence than non-delinquent youth. Juveniles tried and convicted as adults are 32% more likely to commit another crime than juveniles who are tried and adjudicated delinquent for similar crimes in the juvenile justice system. For these and many other important reasons, Juvenile Law Center works to ensure that the foster care and justice systems are aligned with principles of adolescent development. We work to give teens access to education, physical and behavioral health care, and other supports they need to become productive adults. Importantly, our goals are also grounded in human rights and international law. Today, Juvenile Law Center is the oldest national public interest law firm dedicated to improving laws and policies across the United States for children involved in the foster care and justice systems. The work that we do for dependent and delinquent youth advances important goals for them, their families, and their communities. Indeed, Juvenile Law Center has been using the law to ensure for our clients what parents want for their own children. We believe that the children Juvenile Law Center serves deserve no less.